Hi, this is Didi. You're on If Life is a Leaf, and I decided to do a very short video for a change. I thought about doing, or I've <laughs> tried to do a video after the uh, podcast I did with Trish on from Faint Signals from Vega. Uh, Faint Signals from Vega is a, a wonderful channel. We did something together, just our voice, on the transphobia in J.K. Rowling's uh, latest letter. And I thought I'd follow that up on my channel. Um, I, there's a few other things I want to do. I want to actually follow up on the film uh, Planet of the Humans that Michael Moore has supported. I've done one uh, video on that. And he since they've since done a, a response to the criticisms that they've gained. And I wanted to delve into that further and do a response to that. And I will be doing that in the future. But right now, I want to do a really short thing. It struck me the other day that there are parallels between Antifa and veganism. And it struck me because I was thinking about Antifa, and of course, most people know that Antifa is not actually an organization that you can join. Nevertheless, Donald Trump has decided that it is a terrorist organization, and therefore the full extent of federal anti-terrorist laws should apply to anybody they deem is Antifa. And uh, so expect, if you oppose fascism, to have all kinds of persecution. Now, what struck me is that, of course, Antifa is simply an ideological point of view. It may inform how people behave and what they do and what they support and what they oppose. And what they're opposing is fascism. And the reason that they're opposing fascism is because fascism is awful. Uh, <laughs> there's really no other way of saying it. A fascism uh, generally involves the state and certain elements of the state persecuting people they deem as different, and it often also involves imperialism and militarism and glorification of uh, a certain form of masculinity which is based around violence. It frequently manifests as rounding people who are deemed different up and uh, beating them up, killing them, and that kind of thing. It may involve genocide, it frequently involves racism, it frequently involves homophobia, and uh, it will, in, of course, these days involve transphobia. The Nazis weren't so much into transphobia because trans people didn't really exist at that point. They existed, but they weren't known as transgender people or trans people. So, what's the parallel with veganism? Veganism is also something which is not an organization, it's not something you can become a member of, and it is based on an ideological principle that informs our behavior. And in the case of veganism, it, it relates to the awful things that we do to other sentient beings, other animals. We, as humans, are of course animals. And we do these awful things to other animals because we deem them to be lesser and because we can, because uh, we like the way they taste or we will like the way their skins look um, when we're wearing them or when we're you know, making lampshades out of them or whatever. Uh, and, of course, people do make leather lampshades. Uh, and that's all pretty hideous. And the way we treat literally billions and billions of animals every year and kill them um, for our personal gratification, uh, our fashion sense or our sense of taste, yeah, we 
mold their lives with the intention of killing them and using them. And vegans oppose this. And this ideological point of view, this ethical point of view, informs our actions. And of course, with Antifa, the ideological point of view that militarism and persecution of difference and persecution of women and people of other uh, ethnicities and all that kind of stuff is not right um, because these are other people who don't deserve this. These are other sentient beings and people shouldn't be treated that way and neither should any other sentient being and that's basically the parallel. Veganism and Antifa are not that different. And of course, vegans have been described as terrorists and vegan organizations are sometimes followed by the FBI or ASIO. And of course, so are anti-fascist organizations. And the thing about anti-fascism is that when you start persecuting people for being anti-fascist, what that is, is fascism. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Please, if you liked this, uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And I would highly recommend anybody who's interested in veganism or politics or anti-imperialism or anti-fascism to also subscribe to um, Faint Signals from Vega, which is Trisha's channel and really excellent. And tell your friends. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll be doing more of these things. Uh, probably not as short as this, but more. Thanks a lot. Bye.